Tom, the guys from McFly. Oh. Well, Tom, we saw you guys this last night on the Royal Show. Although oh, I, that's right, yeah. You know, and you got to talk to the Queen, didn't you? We did. We yes. got, I think we've got a little clip of you actually having a chat here somewhere. Oh, really? Yes, there you are. Really? Look at you all sitting and beating. Oh. How was that? Were you nervous? Uh, well, it's quite a funny story, actually. <laughs> we yeah. didn't know what to say. We didn't know what to say. We were going, what do you say, ma'am, your majesty? Uh, uh, and Cliff Richard actually came up and said, told us what to say. He said, say, all right, all right, Cliff. And then we heard something right. else when I was down the line. We were like, what did we say? Yeah, and, it was uh, a little bit confusing. And then, of course, when she was coming around, you know when you're, like, in school assembly and it, you're not meant to laugh? Cause, so I thought, yeah. you, I thought you'd just say hi to her. He was like, he was like, he was like oh, don't just say hi. We were like, no, no. And she's like, like, five people away. And, and, and Dougie's there going, oh, just give her a nod. Her a nod. <laughs> right, so, so, like, so ha Harry got, like, really bad giggles. Just, and she's, like, three people oh, away. No. So oh, no. I was crying. I was literally crying. And, like, <laughs> literally. It's like, you know, it's like those situations where you know you can't, you're not supposed to laugh. Yeah, that's worse. Like, the Queen is three people away. Shut up, shut up, shut up. And so when he got to saying hello and you say, Your Majesty, Danny did it fine. Dougie was, like, like mumbled it. <laughs> but he didn't, he did, he went, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went, I went... <laughs> like that. It was like really trying not to laugh. It was oh, horrible. It was the worst yeah. Did she actually say anything to you or she just eager well, to that, get away that, from you? There was an awkward silence. Yeah, that's the thing. So, what do you think of this theatre? Yeah, I know. And, and you're supposed to say ma'am or ma'am after Mom. anything Mom. you said ma'am. Yes. Well, uh, so we were just like, yes, yeah, really nice. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then it was like, do you enjoy the show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, like, just chatting casually to the <laughs> queen. Yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy the show, though, apart from having yeah. to meet the queen and the nerves of that? Was that a good, good audience? Oh, and they yeah. They're a bit it. discerning, aren't they, those crowds? And there are lots of kids in the crowd. Oh, no. well, they're, oh well, that's fantastic. They're no, they're not. Yeah. Oh, God. Them, so oh, I don't know. I've never been. It was yeah. really good. Like, there were so many cool people on, like, the... Uh, because like, there was things that didn't get shown on TV as well, which oh, were really? wicked. Oh, yeah, it was some really cool thing. Funny stuff. And you were also involved with Record of the Year. You were so close. Wow. Weren't you? Thanks for everyone who voted by yeah. us. But yeah. is it, it must be yeah. brilliant, though, to be, you know, in the top five of Record of the yeah, Year. It's, it's quite a major it's thing. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, the whole year's been brilliant for us, you know. We really have had You've a been busy. great year. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking forward to Christmas holiday. Oh, lovely. Earlier yeah. in the year, you went off to um, Africa, was it? Yeah, right at the beginning of the year. That was the first thing we did when we came back from... For from comic relief. Christmas. Yeah. And you got, really got involved there. What kind of things were you doing? And well, we, uh, we went out to, to yeah. Uganda, because we were one of the first bands, actually, I think we were, to go out to Africa, which actually was brilliant, because we actually saw, you know, what was wrong, what, we just the Five-year-old children exactly, with HIV. Exactly. So yeah, and, and sometimes, like, the, the oldest me member of a family would be, like, 12 years old, and he was bringing up his younger brothers and Amazing. sisters. And, and, like, seeing people that were, you know, our age, like, 1920, that were, you know, dying of, of HIV. And we, it was mainly to go to this uh, community because that was one that really benefited from Comet Release money. So it was really for us to see what our, the money from our single was going to do nice. next year. So we're going to try and go out next year as well. Yeah, well how, how was it for you? I mean, it must have been incredibly moving, but has it changed mm. your life in any way? You know, you've come back, because you, you have everything. We all have everything. Yeah, that was, I think that's just such an eye-opener to go out there as well. Yeah. It was just to give this, these kids you know, a bit of care for the day. And stuff. Yeah. It's just when you get back, it's like everything seems so weird. Just being in a building, I remember like we came back and... We, one of the, we went out and filmed a movie straight after going to Africa, and it was just like sitting in an airplane and like being in a building yeah. when you've just I'm been... Just having food. They, yeah, they have one meal a day. They eat the same thing every day. <coughs> they wear the same clothes every day. Well, you did your little bit there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it was... And you're doing unusual things in your career. You just mentioned the, the movie, but you actually yeah. you were in Casualty as well. You played <laughs> yourselves in Casualty. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody laughs about What was the storyline? Well, you wouldn't expect to see the guys there, would you? In that, in that yeah. They're never yeah. having us back after that performance. <laughs> Uh, we kind of right. just walked in, didn't we? Do you know the other thing was so was so rubbish. There was one bit, and I look right at the camera as well. <laughs> it, was so, it was so bad, but no, it was funny, and, and it was really good fun. You played uh, yourselves, didn't you? Yeah, and in the movie as well, we're playing ourselves, which comes out next year. So, but this is an, Amer an American movie, or? Yes, with Lindsay Lohan. It's a proper Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yes, movie. what wow. about that? Just my luck, I think it's called. Yeah, that's right, right, yeah. yeah, and that's out when soonish. No, no uh, we're not sure when the actual date is. It's sort of Easter -ish yeah. next year. Which of you guys was actually dating? Lindsay. Come on. Oh, really, really to we, we heard the one. Oh, the be. one that's sitting back dying to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rumoured. 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 Yeah, Just rumours, rumors, no yeah. truth. But you had loads of dialogue in this. Do you, do you remember your lines? Do you panic when you have to learn lines it's, and stuff? It was funny. I mean, we, they don't look short for words, though, do they? But scripted stuff, maybe. I was, 
He was quite nervous about doing it, but when the director comes over and acts it out, he does it like over the top, so you don't feel stupid doing it afterwards. Okay, so that's, like, a good, that's a good. There's yeah, some so outtakes. Kind of like... We saw some outtakes in the movie of Danny. There's this one bit where oh, Doug, yeah. Dougie, we're sitting and we're really nervous about going on stage for the show, and Dougie breaks a bass string and it flicks and hits Danny in the eye, and it and he kept holding the wrong eye. So like, it, like cut. It was like, 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 like wrong like, eye, Danny, <laughs> wrong eye. Yeah, like, ah! It's like wrong eye. I was like. Damn! <laughs> so well, we haven't got long. With you, just, which of you guys is is, is there? A, um, I don't say a mother hen, but is there a boss on tour? Is there someone who's in charge? Well, you're the oldest. You're the youngest. Yeah. Probably yeah. Dougie. Well, no, Dougie. Yeah, Dougie's, Dougie's very this. quiet, but I think he, he knows what he's doing. Quite. So <laughs> let, let them all work. Let yeah. them worry about. It's always it. the quiet ones you have to worry yeah. about. And you shared a flat for a while, you guys. You still do. do. You still do. Yeah, we've yeah. been living with each other for uh, nearly Good three luck. years now. Who does the cooking? Uh, I'll clean and cook. Oh, what? But we lived with for like a year and a half without a cook or a cleaner. The thing is, oh, it's, good for you! But no, Only for you! Seriously, <laughs> but the thing is, we're so we don't we are so busy. We really are. We work like the thing all year is, round. The thing is, so right? we don't get time you to do it. Sure, you go need. Need. Instead of going to our house on a Monday, yeah, and it stinks because the cleaner doesn't come in on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. <laughs> and it is <laughs> you know, she's she's cooked mouldy food. It stinks. Oh it absolutely stinks. No, is it true that, Danny, you're the joker of the pack? Are you the one that's... Joker? Yeah. The idiot. Oh, it's the idiot. Oh, is that the way you put it? Who does the practical jokes and all the silly... We all, well, we all kind of... It seems to me you're enjoying what you're doing and good luck oh, to you. Oh, it's good to meet you. Thank you. Thanks, Danny. Yes. Great, Danny. How are you, Mark? How are That is it. That is our show for today. Joining us tomorrow will be chart topping singing sensations West Live. We'll also be joined by the most well respected British actors of our time, Patrick Stewart, along with the actress who's currently appearing on, alongside to Ian McKellen in the pantomime Aladdin. That's actress Frances Barber. Yes, we're all here right, tomorrow. Bye bye. Half past one. Bye bye. If you can't quite afford a cooker cleaner, well, don't worry. Your bank balance might be looking grim, but we've got just the thing for you. Make Me Rich is next. And later at five is the Paul O'Grady Show with Lulu.